But obviously it's little wonder when you see the white card in the minute that online cops a lot of flack. And when you look at the things that's always been in the package, yes, you've got to verbally report construction hazards, ask effective risk, relay information. How can you do that online? So, so that, that's not new. This is the training package as it's always existed. They've got to verbally report construction hazards at a work site. They've got to ask effective questions. Ollie, funnily enough, did a white card and got issued with a white card from a fairly reputable RTO and it was a reasonably good course just, just this year and paid the money and, and got the uh, uh, another white card and there was no, it was totally online. There was no verification in any way other than the stat deck which we've talked about before and we'll talk, talk about it again later. It's, industry's got to have confidence in this mode of training otherwise we're, we're, we're pushing it uphill. This student was found to be cheating but, and we'll see if you can work out why, but it meant two people have sat there for four hours instead of one person. So he's sitting there, he seems to be in view, there's no one else in those photos, you'd think that'd be okay, wouldn't you? But there's clearly something wrong. We've never taken a photo of an empty chair because they can get up, make a cup of coffee. We only take photos when there's activity on the keyboard and mouse. And who's operating the keyboard and mouse when his hands behind his head like that? <laughs> well, he's going to slip up once. He's sitting back there. Let's, let's go and let's analyse him first. Let's go into this there. So what that does is that warrants a phone call. We ring him up, and I think um, let's have a look at that contact log. Yep, he's been identified as potentially getting help because his hands weren't controlling the keyboard or mouse. So he was rung up, and he was asked questions about part one and part two. He couldn't answer sufficiently and demonstrate and could not demonstrate a sound understanding of the material. So anyway. Yeah, we told him that he'd have to redo the course again by himself. And he said he'd leave it for now. We've got a, actually another assessment tool called an RMAP assessment, remotely modeled exam condition assessment, where basically the student hits the record button, it's a video based thing, and only once the camera is recording are they showing the question. And they've got to answer that question right then and there. They can't be helped by anyone else. And this is more, I guess you think of as a summative assessment tool, but it's just a, um, a more valid way, particularly for high risk licenses or if you need it. And, and just to make that really clear, again, this, this will be a different question for every single person, question one, you can set it to be 10 or 20, it can be a video response or uh, you know any, any type of question you like, but you can just set it up there and they must have a webcam, that's, that's just, we, we've decided that you absolutely must have a webcam to do a white card with us because we don't believe less than that for us is, is um, acceptable. And uh, with this RMAC system, once they hit start, like, and you get sure they could have someone having their monitor, but it's recording their response and they've got 30 seconds to answer it. So the other person's got to uh, read it, talk to them, get that back to them. They've got to give that response while it's being recorded in that 30 second period. You know, we like, we just cannot see a way around that. That's question one, it's gone, whether you answered it or not. I mean, take, take online banking. Like, if you're going to do online banking, you need a certain, you need a device, like a phone, a computer, you need to have connected mm -hmm. internet, you need to be set up a client ID and PIN and password or whatever. If you don't have any of those, you can't do online banking. Too bad, go stand in line in the store in the branch, you know? And th this is, we really believe that this needs to be the standard that's adopted. For us to do a white card with us, you haven't got that bad luck. Can't do it with us. Absolutely. Yep. Well, we, we believe that it's necessary. We believe that you should have evidence for authenticity. We believe it's the solution, honestly. And we believe that online training has a future, but we've got to get over some of it.